My wedding room better have been real. <laughs> <laughs> Getting rid of the past and moving on to the future. <laughs> High probability. You think it's fake? Hey, Tim, is your uh, bank situation all taken care of? Um, we'll see. Have you made some orders with it, with the new system, oh, yeah. the new bank? Yeah, okay. definitely. Good. It wasn't seamless, let me put it that way. I thought that was Yankee Panton over there at the side <laughs> of all this silver. Oh. What's his name? Django. Django? Yeah. Hi, Django. You came to see Tim? The algorithm yeah. send no. you and your adorable little dog to my channel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't right. been working, so I need to have right. the funds. Um, but I brought in a little bullion and coin, but yeah. I also brought in jewelry because I weighed out the two and said I'd rather get rid of my 14 karat jewelry than to liquidate the pure stuff. So oh, I see. I don't want to get rid of any of it, but it is what it is. So. Okay. And how about how about you? What are you what are you doing? I'm gonna buy some ten to fifteen coins today, silver. First time. For first time buying? Buying, yes. First time in here as well. Really? I drove an hour and a half to get here. Oh, you drove an hour and a half to Good get the Tim's. All right. So what brought you in? I want uh, your channel actually. The two of you, are very down to basics and. Figure it's a good time to stop buying something in case you need to barter in the future. What about the price going up? Does that and it's it's great if it goes up. Okay. It doesn't dissuade yeah, you at all, right? No. You're not holding back just no. because you see it hitting no. 27, 28. It's gonna no. go into a, into a box and stay there for at least a decade. Gonna keep adding to it. Very good. And that's it. Good. How about gold? Too expensive. Too expensive in my mind. So stick with the silver, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I've been stacking since 21. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to give up any of it, but I don't know if I'm going to give this up. I don't know. Oh. It's very pretty. So. Wow. Yeah. Hi, Tim. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. I feel like I know you guys. <laughs> Uh, so I got all this stuff. This I don't care if I give up. Okay, this is an old wedding ring. No! He's, he's no longer around, so... I have so many cross necklaces, as you can see. I have two yeah. crosses on here, so... I did see the crosses on you. I have... And then this, I, this one, this little thing here might be 18 karat. I'm not sure. That little Italian symbol thing. I don't know. I was given that as a gift. And then these, let's see here. Oh, this, my first boyfriend gave me this ankle bracelet. But we're going to get rid of that too. <laughs> Getting rid of the past and moving on to the future. <laughs> Okay, now, as far as the metals go, I really like the um, Philharmonic, and I think I got a quarter ounce as well, but I don't know, I ended up getting this 1 25th of an ounce, and then when, I, when it arrived, I was like, I can't see it. <laughs> so I figured I might as well just, yeah. that, that was like a mistake. This is the half ounce. A type 2 gold eagle. Yeah, well, so it's a half ounce, but I, like I said, I prefer ounces or... Quarter ounces sure. at this point. Okay. So yep. That's the only half ounce I have. Okay. And then this, I I buy a lot from SD Bullion, but I also um, go to a, a coin shop show in Albany. Mm -hmm. And I got, you're from New York. I'm from New York. Okay. And um, I bought this because I wanted something from Scottsdale. Oh, a Scottsdale stacker. stacker. But it's so chunky, and not only that. I know it's so okay. chunky. It's got milk spots on it now. So I don't really that like does, that. That does sometimes happen. I know it does, but I is don't it, like it. Is it tarnish or milk spots? I don't, is it tarnishing? I think it might be tarnish. Well, you, it's been, I, it sure. came in this, and I, that's, I just, I don't take it out. But um, I think to me, well, it's hard to tell, but milk spots happen sometimes on all kinds of different silver products. 
Now this here, when I first went to my local coin shop dealer, um, I wanted to get the kids um, medals, and I liked this little set. And um, but then I bicentennial. Yeah, so I got like four or five of them, um, but I didn't end up giving it to the kids because I wanted I didn't want them to get them mixed up with each other. So I ended up getting. A silver eagle with each one of their birth dates, like the birth year. But at the time, I didn't know the, the difference between slabs versus the loose coin. I probably should have just gotten the loose coin, but I got the slab. So I, that's where I learned my lesson on the slabs. Yeah, that slabbed modern bullion. That's not for me. That's in my opinion not a good stacking target, but. Slabbing or grading certain numismatic coins can make sense sometimes. So that is a beautiful. Is that a seated liberty? Would you flip it over for me? What does it say at the bottom there? One doll. So I don't even know if it's real. My sister's husband had some old coins. And she showed me one, and it, was, it wasn't this one. It was a beautiful one. It had flowing hair. Yes. And it had, like, the bust was kind of showing. That's a little risque for a coin back in the 1800s. <laughs> you did it a lot back then. I was then. very surprised. So yeah. I said to her, I really like that coin. So she gave me this coin thinking she was giving me the coin that I liked. And I said, well, this isn't the coin you like, but I'm going to find out about this coin. Okay. Well, so, Tim will tell you. I actually just purchased one of these for my Constitutional Silver Series collection. It is a really beautiful coin. I'm not looking to sell that. I just want to find information about that. Very cool. The people that I, my family, my friends, when they knew I was coming up here, they said, is he going to be open? And I said, yeah, he'll be open. I said, I'm coming up for a couple of days anyway. And then um, I saw that you were in Texas. I'm like, but I don't think Yankee's going to be around. <laughs> So I was kind of hoping I'd see both of them. Well, I have uh, I have been away from Tim, and a lot of people are like, where's Tim? Where's Tim, Yankee? Where's Tim? Yeah, he's videotaping people in Texas, like we're going to go to Texas. <laughs> I don't know, Tim. That would have made the trip down there all a thousand times better if you joined me. Yeah, we go there for the U.S. Grand Prix every year. And um, first time I went down there was with IBM. And the tallest thing in Austin was the Texas Tower. But by far, the only thing you could see from everywhere was the Texas Tower. Now, you can't see the Texas Tower. They built so many tall buildings in Austin. Have you ever been to an Austin rodeo? I have not. I, I went even, to a rodeo. I don't even know where they would have I that. went to a rodeo with Mrs. Yankee and Little Stacks. We had a blast. Little Stacks bought a black cowboy hat. I really loved it. So what do you think so far, Tim? Some good gold in here? No, it's all fake. Don't listen to him. I couldn't, I couldn't find a marking on that. Okay. I've been trying to get my sister into the metals. And she'll do a little bit, but she won't go all in. It's only 4.4 grams. I know what should I do. I don't know. For $125. Can't get much with $125. I know. I think I'm going to keep that. Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. I didn't put it back under the strap. Oh, so. right. Hey, Tim, could you take a look at this? Could you take a look at this coin right here? This coin? Yeah. <laughs> High probability. You think it's fake? Yeah. Oh. Um, that's 90%. Pre-1900, 90%. Is it a seated Liberty dollar? I think it's uh, fashioned after a seated Liberty dollar, yes. Yeah, that's the setting it should be. And it's nowhere near the brackets. It's all wrong. It's all wrong? It's all wrong. I would say um, my assessment is about 
that it's fake. Same thing. It's also supposed to weigh uh, 26.7 grams, and I don't think it's near that. It's not even 20 grams. Yeah, so I'm not shocked because he thought that it might be fake. Yeah, th this doesn't well, surprise you. Yankee's easily fooled. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting for you to do an assessment that's why, with this. That's why he walks around with a pocket pinger in his, in his pocket. Because <laughs> I don't trust anything, right? <laughs> I gotta trust okay. but verify. So at least I can tell them that. Uh, you see, that's why they gave it to me. Yep. Fake, fake coins. Yeah, fake coins. Uh, no, we got some real gold. I got some over great here. relatives, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have some real gold, though, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm not giving up the bracelet. You're not giving time. up that bracelet. Um, no. Did you get this? Did not do that. All right. Do that. And then we just have these. I know this. So I'm going to give this back to him. <laughs> wow. But like I said, he did say he thought it was fake. Well, so I'm not. To his credit. Shocked. Yep. Yeah. It wasn't the coin that I liked in his collection. I liked the other one. Well, that is exactly the coin that I just recently bought. So hopefully mine is legit. I'm quite sure it is. Are you going to do a follow-up so that I know if yours is good? Okay, I'll do a follow-up, yes. <laughs> just give a shout-out. Oh, by the way, that coin is real. It's real, right. <laughs> I don't like the feel of it. You don't like a chunky stacker. It's a very interesting. A lot of people do. You know what I just got? What? I got the Una and the Lion. I haven't opened it yet. It came in the mail, so I haven't opened it yet. I have to say, it, the one-ounce gold was beautiful, and it looked really nice in the gold. Yep. But it's just like, oh, gold right now. Ugh. Not chunky, is it like this? The, the Una and the Lion is bigger and a little thinner. Okay, yeah. And it's a beautiful bar. That oh, it Una really Lion. is. Una yeah. and the Lion. This is, this is the only thing, okay. of actually this, is the only thing of my stack that I'm giving up today, or willing to give up today. That's why I went with the jewelry, because I knew the jewelry wouldn't be as valuable. I want the good stuff. <laughs> What's the little stamp right in there? It says M O T T. Mott? That's what it says. My wedding room better have been real. <laughs> well, that marriage <laughs> is over, so. <laughs> oh. It should be Mark. That's a, that's a legal issue. Gold jewelry must be marked in the States. It's been laws going back to the 1800s. If it's <clears throat> you know, 14 carat or 10 carat or 18 carat, it's got to be marked then. what it is. I can't believe it. It, it wasn't was sized or anything like that. There's, the, there's your the, the stamp that you saw inside. Oh, yeah. There it is. He says it doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, need I, to see. I couldn't tell. Is that an O or is that a, a it looks C? Like, it looks like MC and then Roman numeral 2, it looks like almost. Hmm. But I'm guessing that's probably maybe who designed it. Yeah, the, the ring should absolutely say mm -hmm. if it's gold or not. I'll have to have a little trip to Great Barrington. <laughs> so, I can't imagine that they would have given us <clears throat> bad rings, but if I mean I don't want you taking it if you can't see that it's real. I'm just gonna lift and see if there's any. Oh here. <clears throat> well, I can go right to them. I'm not that far from them, and I'm just gonna. Okay. So you're, <coughs> you're gold this should this should have a stamp according to uh, the professionals. <laughs> wow. Okay. It doesn't look like it's worn either. So. Well, I wore it for several years. <laughs> well, it, I mean, oh, you mean the stamp's not worn? It, there shouldn't be anything worn off it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I have these. This. And I just wanted to see about this. And yeah, I mean, if I I have like four more of these at home. A lot, a lot of things in coins that um, <clears throat> they were very popular during the bicentennial, just not very popular now. Yeah, I have about four of them, and 
I just figured I'd take one up. I don't, I didn't, I probably don't need any of them. Oh. So I'm going to put this back in my bag. Well, this is a good time to be looking to sell your gold if you need to, because it is at uh, all-time record highs. Tim, do you think, do you think it's going to stay up gold? What's your, what's your what's your opinion over the next few I weeks? think it's due for a correction. It's way above the 200-day moving average. As always, man, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. I don't see any Yankee magnet there. I don't think there's one there. It's, it's not there yet.